Craigslist. 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 Craig's hiding his list. What's on Craigslist? Who knows? Where's Craig? Craigslist. 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 I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Craigslist. The Timu of Facebook Marketplace. Maybe you used it to buy your first car. That white fridge sitting in the garage that's been running since 1492. Or maybe to buy a terracotta statue of a naughty little cherub. Look at him. Look off. Look at him. It's like he wants a photo, but he doesn't want to say it. Stop. <laughs> No, stop. Put the flash on. No. <laughs> Anyways, but what you might not know about Craig's list is that there's an intriguing yet terrifying little subsection. A subsection that was built up brick by brick by every man at the local bar that makes you feel the need to cover your drink before he comes up from behind and asks you, where my hug at? Where my hug at? It never existed and it never will. Now go invest in some deodorant. You're making my eyes water. Now what's this little forgotten corner of the internet you might ask? None other than Craigslist misconnections. Nowadays, if you find somebody attractive, but you don't get a chance to speak to them, you just find their social media and then swipe up on their Instagram story every once in a while with fire emojis and googly eyes until they eventually block you. Or on the flip side, maybe you did some freaky shit with the animatronics at the local Chuck E. Cheese and you just needed to vent. Luckily today, we have Reddit for that. Now, however, there was a time where the internet was alive and well, and social media just wasn't there yet. Therefore, there was nowhere to go for these people but Craigslist misconnections. Now, listen, before we get into this, I will say, although it is called Craigslist misconnections, most of them mainly just feel like you're reading somebody's personal diary that should have been kept so fucking personal. Like, so, like, under lock and key, buried in the backyard. But instead, they wrote it on the internet. Anyways, we're gonna go through the best posts that I've found and experience them together. Intertwined type shit, you know what I'm saying? Big spoon, little spoon type shit, you know? If you're laying in bed right now, imagine we're sp Don't do that, actually. Don't do it. Like, it get, I, at first, I thought it was funny, and then it got really weird. <laughs> do you feel that energy, though? Me and you. Kidding. Here we go! Starting off strong, the sexy tub shark incident. I know the bubble bath was really sexy, fun, and us both so damn horny, but I was just trying to make a few bubbles and some laughs. I'm sorry I sharted in the tub, but you didn't have to jump out of the tub and freak the fuck out. <laughs> oh, I shit everywhere and you gotta freak out. Oh, oh. All of a sudden somebody shits in your bath water and you gotta freak, you gotta fucking, you gotta lose it. You can't have any fucking composure about it, but you didn't have to jump out of the tub and freak the fuck out with your arms, legs, and hair flinging shitty water everywhere. Now I have soapy shart water all over the bathroom, hallway walls, and ceilings of both. It is even in the fucking carpet. Thanks for the freak out and ungodly mess. Please don't let a weird one-time incident come between us, baby. Honestly, the confidence to be naked in a bathtub with somebody else, have to kind of fart in any moment in your life, I would say that's gotta be, if if it's not more number one, it's at least top three of times you probably shouldn't fart. Moving on, this one is personally one of my favorites. Um, I did do a little skim, um, no Kim bar. Uh, I'm so like, delete that, scratch it off the face of the planet, bury it in a hole. I pray that nobody else ever sees that besides obviously the few of you who watch here. Title, me, wanting to buy cheap sod, you. Selling sod, but not answering emails. You posted an ad that promised nice sod at a great price. I responded promptly, excited that your offer and my need of cheap sod could coincide so conveniently. Obviously, we're made for one another. Then I checked my email every hour on the hour, anxiously awaiting your response. I never got one. How could that happen? I sent another email. And then just to make sure, I tested both email addresses to make sure they were working. Well, they are, yet here I sit, still waiting for a response to no avail. What gives? Do you have cheap sod or not? Are you just using Craigslist to test the waters and see if you still got it sod-wise? <laughs> Who the fuck went to? Who the fuck would do that? That would essentially be the equivalent of downloading Hinge purely for likes and attention. Except instead, this guy's just posting his grass, ho hoping that maybe somebody likes it. Are you just some sod bot and not a real person? Was my need for sod somehow not enough for you? Was it because I'm seeking an NSA, need sod ASAP, and you're looking more for an 
LTR, long-term relationship. Now I feel like I'm in the lawn care version of he's just not that into you. Do I send yet another email or would that seem psycho at this point? Are you not responding to any emails or is it just me? All I want is some freaking grass on my freaking black dirt at a good price. Well, if I don't hear from you today, I'm moving on. I've got needs and obviously you're either not serious or you're picky about who gets a piece of your grass. <laughs> I'm picky about who gets a piece of my grass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sorry. What, like, why do I, like, why do I even do it? Like, once I know in my brain that I'm in a wink, I just shouldn't say it. If a wink is involved in what I'm about to say, throw it out, scratch it, don't even say it, but I do it anyways. I didn't even mention it in my email, but if you'd answered, you'd have found out I have plenty of bear patches for some lucky sod guy, but I guess someone else will get to lay those. That was like weirdly sexual at the end. Location, my bear dirt patches? Maybe this wasn't about sod at all. Next up, Walmart hottie. You were a delicious BBW with a stained white t-shirt and half a dozen kids in tow. I was sporting a skullet with a HD jean vest and short cutoffs. What's an HD jean vest? HD jean vest. What is that? Harley Davidson. Okay, so let's go back to that. They're rocking a skullet? Harley Davidson jean vest and short cutoffs. I mean, dare I say they put that shit on. I mean, listen, what was this, 2009? Dare I say they put that shit on. You offered me a dart from your fresh deck and I refused as I don't smoke menthols. I would love to reconsider that offer. And by the way, that wasn't my old lady with me. That was just my parole officer. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's, this is a love story brewing to happen and I hope they found one another. Moving on to saw you leaving my mom's house today, dot, dot, dot. I saw your very sexy, finely tuned ass leaving my mom's house. Sorry, hold on, let me, re sorry, sorry. I saw your very sexy, finely tuned ass leaving my mom's house today. I can't remember your name, but you took my van. I need that van back. It was a gift from my dad. Well, I bought it kind of. He didn't give me the van for like a year, but it is mine now and I need my van. You have very large breast and just one. <laughs> you have very large breast. Just one in the center. <laughs> they just merged together. It's just one giant fucking tit in the center. <laughs> I would totally edit that onto myself if this wouldn't get the video taken down. I guess I could censor it. Maybe I will. You have very large breasts that are always falling out your shirt. I think that you're way hot and I want you. But seriously, I need that van back. <laughs> I literally love how he just keeps going back and forth from like, you're fucking, oh, I saw your fucking fat, juicy ass walk like right into my fucking van, by the way. Like, I, I don't know what you thought this was like free van service. Take a van if you want. Find the keys and the van's yours. That's my fucking van, bitch. With your big ass fucking knockers, tiny white tank top sitting in my fucking van. Get the fuck out of my. <laughs> God, that's funny, Coda. God, that's funny. My dog just stares at me now. I don't, I can't even get him to react. He's lived with me for so long and he spends all day with me that he's like, this guy's fucking whacked. I'm just happy I get water and food at this point. Anyways, where were we? I want to get a piece of that ass. Maybe more, who knows? You're the kind of girl that I could dip in a vat of nacho cheese and lick clean. You've kind of long hair and a sexy nose. I know what you're thinking. How could a nose be sexy, but yours is so fucking hot. I can't even control myself. But bring my van back and maybe we could go get some popsicles on my debit card. I mean, I live with my mother for crying out loud. And who in the hell gave you the keys to my van? It is a blue Lumina Chevy and the driver's side door doesn't open and the mirror is busted, but I need that minivan back. And I'm pretty sure I'm in love with you. <laughs> I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure I'm in love with you. So if you see this, tell me your name, give me my van back, and let's go get some cold chicken and hummus from the Albertsons and chow, baby. Cold chicken and hummus. This guy, he doesn't have his priorities straight, but he's got a lot of them. And I, I, you know, I think, I think that's important. It sounds like he's got goals. One being get his van back. Two being take out that fine piece of ass for some cold chicken and hummus. Straight up. All right, next up, we have a quick one here. This one's called, I horked on your tits. Me, tall, dark, I'm told handsome. I vomited a little bit of homebrew down your blouse. You said, cute. You, cleavage covered in vomit. I think we had a moment. Call me?
Also, deranged response to somebody vomiting down your blouse. Cute. I'm sorry, what? Somebody vomited on me, I'd A, scream, B, knee them in the jaw, if need be. If they're a stranger, like, that's a little weird. I wouldn't knee them in the jaw. I would, like, I would shove, I would shove them. I'd give them a healthy shove. Nothing too crazy, but nothing too light either. Knock them off their feet a little. Get off balance. Unless they have great core stability, you never know. If I was a woman with vomit in my cleavage, I'd fucking bite that man's dick off. No hesitation. Zero hesitation. I'd rip his cock right off. And I wouldn't say we had a moment. All right, last one here, people. Tina, the telemarketer who called me last night. Dear Tina, when you called me so unexpectedly at six last night, I was expecting a call from my sister and brother-in-law. I tried to explain to you that there were steaks on the grill and I had guests coming for dinner. So I really wasn't in a position to talk to you about a timeshare in Vegas. I am not the rude type, so I continue to indulge with you rather than hanging up the telephone in your ear. However, I think we had a real misunderstanding and I'd like to set the record straight here. When I asked what you were wearing, you became very defensive. I'm in sales myself and I'm required to wear a suit and tie to work every single day. I simply wanted to make sure you were prepared to make a good first impression. This is the thing with this one, is he eases you in like he He's the good guy here. When I asked you what type of panties you were wearing, here it is. It was because I wanted to make sure I was dealing with a normal person and not a pervert. No, right, of course. <laughs> no, 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 right, of course. No, right, of course. Asking you if you were masturbating when you spoke with customers was my way of checking your professionalism. Hello? What's this for, a survey? Yeah, really quick though, are you jerking it? There's no need to yell. What do you mean that's a weird question? Are you jerking it right now? I need to know. Can you send video? <laughs> when you started making claims of sexual harassment, I was flabbergasted. <laughs> there was really no need to call me names. I was also appalled that you had the audacity to hang up on me. Need I remind you that you called me? The least you could have done is to have been grateful that I took the time to speak to you in spite of the fact that my stakes were burning. As for the Vegas timeshares, I am very interested. How about you come over to my place, bring a couple of steaks to grill, as you kind of owe me a few steaks anyway, and we could talk more. And that, my friends, is Craigslist Misconnections. If you want more videos, guess what? They're f***ing coming right at your mouth. Subscribe, please. Give it a thumbs up, and leave a comment, please. Just say something. Let me know if you like this setup. You know, maybe if I should get a green screen involved, if I should get a better background. I understand, 100%. I get, once again, if anybody tells me that that picture right there, Oh, it's not lining up. Wonder why it's not lining up? Cause look at this. They're all different. They're all four different pieces. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I spent about four hours trying to get them even, and I couldn't. And then I said, you know what? F it. Cro make them all crooked. All right. Everybody brings it up all the f***ing time. Every TikTok, every f***ing podcast episode. Everyone's like, why is it crooked? Cause it's f***ing impossible. All right. It's f***ing impossible to do. And if you don't f***ing subscribe, I'm gonna find where you live. Amen. God bless, and I hope you have a wonderful day.